Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's okay. Yeah, Grandma will get it. Yeah. We'll wait till it stops, okay? Actually, will you just press record and we'll start over? Okay, time to record again. Willy! Willy, 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 my main man, Willy. Long story short, I am making this video because we have had this family event that we have done for over 40 years, and my father, it's very important to him, and this will be the first year um, in 43 years that we have not done this event. And so it's a big change. I just recently found out that you were the inspiration that started all of this tradition. And so I wanted to reach out to you to kind of tell the story and yeah. <laughs> my name is Jade. Um, my father, his name is Bill. Sometimes we call him Willie. He, what? Or grandpa, sometimes we call him grandpa. So my dad's band um, right now, and for many, many years, it's been four of them. They're called Four on the Floor. It's my dad um, and then two other members that are brothers. Their names are Doug and Ray. And then um, the drummer, his name is Mike. And sometimes the, the drummer kind of changes over, over the last few years, but um, they've largely been together for a long time. Um, and my dad's been playing music in the area. Um, for 50 years and it's a small area in North Idaho um, small town and They're one of the the local bands that has been around the longest and um, They are really inspired especially my dad is really inspired by by your music as well as Waylon Jennings Hank Williams jr um, other old country like that and then also um, a lot of rock and roll one of my dad's favorite bands is the Rolling Stones, and they bring a lot of those influences in to do mostly covers, but my dad is also a songwriter, and he writes amazing songs. He does, um, he's a very giving person, so he writes a lot of songs for other people, um, for memorial services, or just friends that he's had for a very long time, and they're very, very beautiful, touching songs. Um, so that's just a little bit of background on the band. About 43 years ago, my dad had learned that you did a yearly kind of event, sort of picnic with your friends and family where you played music outside. I think it was on 4th of July, maybe. And it was really this time for everyone to come together. And it very much inspired my dad to where he thought, okay, I want to do something like that because a lot of the times um, when he was playing with his band, they were playing at the bars and it wasn't really um, a family event and there weren't, you know, some people wouldn't be able to, to be there. And so um, my dad decided to have this party and we do it on the last Sunday in July every year. Um, so the party that we have every year, it started off very small and it gradually grew and grew. Um, we my dad used to build this stage in the front yard um, every year and then um, around you know like the 30th year or maybe the 25th year of this anniversary of the party they actually built a permanent stage in our front yard and um, that's just always there now and it's there for this party um, we have a potluck we have shirts every year that are made for that specific year of the party and it's really the time for me to when I see most of my family um, each year it's almost like a family reunion and of course like a lot of friends come as well um, when I was growing up we used to have a plane that would fly over and drop candy for us my dad throws out nickels for all the kids it's really exciting they ended up having this group of men called the Weasel Patrol and they had their own shirts made to make sure that it was a safe environment for everyone. For my father, it's been something that he looks forward to every year and something that he really puts a lot of heart and soul and energy into as well. And my, my mom as well, she does so much behind the scenes and they both just put a lot into 
this event every year and it means a lot to them. And so unfortunately this year, um, so this is the first year in 43 years that we've had to cancel the party due largely to the current coronavirus. Um, but at the same time, um, my dad had a stroke this year and a very major surgery that he's still recovering from and also a stroke last year. I think it was last year. Um, and so that has made it very difficult for him to um, be able to continue to at least do the event in the way that it used to be done in the sense of playing music for you know hours and hours on end. The stars are not aligning this year to be able to do this event and it has been an incredibly hard thing for my dad. He, he loves making people happy. He wants, you know, everyone to be there and to have a good time. And so the fact that he can't do that this year, um, my main goal in reaching out to you is to share his story um, and let you know that you really inspired him to begin this thing that has been such a huge part of his life and many other people's lives um, in my family and around the area. And just to, to ask you if there would be um, any way that you could possibly maybe reach out to him and um, let him know that you know the story and that you um, are aware that you have been the inspiration for it. And I think that hearing from you would really mean a lot to my dad and um, it would really help him a lot this year as it's the first year that well, we're gonna have to cancel. Um, he's always been very inspired by your music and he's seen you many times live. I saw you once, but I was too drunk to remember, so that was fun, um, but you were great. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess that's all I have to say. Thank you for watching and um, hopefully I'll hear from you soon. Thank you.